you guys but I've always wondered exactly what lies inside these lithium motorcycle batteries um, I've got an SSB power sport lithium ultralight this one's actually gone flat um, so it'll be quite interesting to see if anything's gone wrong inside it or if we can see anything so just off the top of my head um, based on the information I already know about lithium batteries I'm going to assume that there's um, a fairly small amount of uh, either cells or packets of lithium um, in the bottom of the battery. It's actually quite light, uh, much lighter than a normal battery. This one is a uh, 14 amp hour, so it's an LFP 14 HBS. It's a 12 volt, it's got 290 cranking amps. Um, it's a really good battery, basically. They retail for about $200 Australian, give or take. Without further ado, we'll get this cut open and have a good look inside and, um, and, and solve my curiosity, basically. Be interesting to see. So there's a ton of ways to get these open. I'm gonna use a razor blade. I'm gonna chuck a fresh razor blade on here and I'm gonna very carefully cut along that seam and hopefully I'm thinking that that lid might come off. Okay, we've got a nice fresh blade in here, nice and sharp. We've got gloves on and safety glasses, of course. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by just cutting along that seam nice and carefully. Now, I wouldn't recommend trying this at home. I'm doing this because I couldn't really find much else about exactly what's inside these batteries. Curiosity getting the better of me. Wanted to have a look inside myself. Lithium being the way of the future. Oops. Cool. Let's throw the sides in. Get that thumb out of the way. All right, we're in. So, let you have a look in there first with me. So it looks fairly basic. So there's a little battery board there and that would monitor how much charge each cell has and how much input and output that battery does as well. How interesting. And then you can see the bottom there is probably halfway, I'd say halfway of the total height of the battery filled in with, it's like a rubber silicon. Not sure if you can see that, but it is squishy. It does have a little bit of a smell to it as well. We'll have a look at that board and that camera will zoom in. What I'll do is I'll Google some of these numbers a bit later. So that's obviously a date up here, 31st of the 3rd, 2017. So the battery's a couple years old. What have we got in here? And I'll pull that off in a minute and have a look. So those cables all disappear into that sealant. And that's obviously good for vibration and waterproofing. Um, up on the terminals, you can see the solders are pretty good, really. I wouldn't complain too much about that. All right, what I'll do is we'll see if we can cut very, very carefully, cut one of these sides off and peel the black plastic off. Obviously, we want to be very, very careful not to do any damage to the cells in there if we can help it. All right, that has sort of come unstuck in here. I don't want to pull it too hard. So that's our pack. 
actually quite light. And I can see the packs in through there. What we'll do, we'll peel all that coating off next. So that coating all comes off fairly easily. It's not actually stuck, so to speak, to the battery packs. It's just sort of coated around it. So you just want to be careful not to do any shorts. So we've got all the safety gear on. Cool, we've got some numbers we can Google as well. Quite interested to see what kind of cells they use. So yeah, that's like a like a silicon of some sort or a sealant. Alright. So with all the sealant off. See they're all soldered on the end. There's a sensor wire going to each pack. It looks like there's maybe four packs there. One, two, three, four. Alright. I'll get these packs apart. It's literally just taped together. I guess when they're in that sealant, they don't really need to be held together any better than that. And then they all come apart. We got these packs apart. Some part numbers there. B74771238 LXP coming out of the battery and then all those sensor wires going on there as well. And we'll see what we can find out about those packs. We'll just pop this little just pop the little board off, unplug that, and uh, we'll have a look at the other side of that board. You can get so much power out of these. So there's nothing on the other side of that board. There's silicon on there. Read it all for your different cells. Battery one, say battery negative, battery positive, B1, B2, B3. That's actually the second one that I pulled apart. Got another one here as well. With a few little changes. You can see this one's actually got a different type of sealant over those parts. I haven't actually pulled these apart, but I'm pretty interested to see if these are the same, exactly the same cells as, as those, whether they keep to the same cells or what they do with that. So the date on this one is actually 10th of the 5th, 2016. I'm not sure if you can see that. So I'll quickly pull these cells apart and just see what these look like as well. So these are the other cells. They do have layers of sealant within them. These are slightly different, I reckon. If I just check on these. So these are different cells. So they're, they're very similar. It's a slightly different sticker. Barcode's a bit thicker on the newer one, a bit smaller on there. Writing's a bit bolder, a bit smaller writing. These have got little, extra little stickers on there. There's some numbers there. So there are some slight differences in those two batteries, even though they're the same brand. There you go. Hope that solved a bit of curiosity that you might've had about lithium batteries and motorcycles. Got a pack. About half full, sealant, some small padded lithium ion cells with part numbers so you can look them up and see which ones they use. And then a um, little BMS up here as well, up out the way, all waterproof, sealed. And uh, yeah, that's quite interesting. Cool, hope you enjoyed that guys. Thanks.